what is your most optimistic mindset for these times? For me, it all revolves around sovereignty. That's, that is like the unifying piece of this puzzle that um, seems to bring all the pieces together. Um, and ultimately, like, I, I mean, the greater, it's just kind of, it's like, like Crowley's like, you know, like the, the word of the law is will, will under love. Like to me, like the, my like personal spin on that is like sovereignty and gratitude for sovereignty and forgiveness, sovereignty and appreciation. They're all kind of, again, it's like a yin yang archetypal um, oscillation. And when those two are operating in harmony, um, it informs this process of releasing what's not working and um, asserting command over what we can control. And through that process, I think like coming to terms with what reality actually is, as like this interface between like what we can influence and what we can't. Um, which seems to be the greatest source of suffering in my own life anyways. The sovereignty is like the, the like erecting of, of boundaries or whatever. It's, it's still, it's knowing, it's like knowing when and where our gifts need to be applied um, because unconditional acceptance can obviously pivot into complacency which is like an over dominance of yin energy or like um, or excess sovereignty can also pivot into um, like dictatorial assholery like um, so they all have their excesses but I think when those are built in it's like gratitude and appreciation lubricate the wheels of synchronicity what have you done to realize your life's vision? I really enjoy this metaphor that we are living in a game or a simulation. Um, purely whether or not it is true in the strictest of senses, I think there's a lot of really fascinating um, reasons to think that it's not on off base speculation. But that aside, um, it grants us permission to be a little bit more playful.